First thing first, please be aware that we at Dr. Fee are no financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purpose only. Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily transfer your crypto from Bitstamp to another exchange or wallet, such as Binance or MetaMask. Of course, we want to keep the fees for doing so as low as possible. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'm here logged into my Bitstamp account on the desktop version. And don't worry, if you are using the app, the process is the same. As a trader, I usually do not want to be exposed to market volatility when transferring funds. Therefore, I usually choose transfer a stable coin such as USDT, USDC, or BUSD. However, in the case of Bitstamp, withdrawal fees for the most common stable coins are much higher compared to other coins. Therefore, we are going to choose Litecoin in this example as the coin we would like to transfer to another wallet. A USDT withdrawal for Bitstamp costs about 20 USD per transaction. While, and you will see it later when we actually do the transfer, a Litecoin withdrawal only costs a few cents. To transfer funds, I click on Withdraw on the upper navigation bar. We have to choose in the left navigation bar what kind of asset we would like to withdraw. We select cryptocurrency as we want to send coins from Bitstamps to another exchange wallet. Next, we have to select the coin we want to transfer. In this example, we choose Litecoin as it has low fees. Let's search for Litecoin and select LTC from the list. As of right now, Bitstamps only support the respective network of the cryptocurrency for withdrawal and deposit. Therefore, we have to make sure that the wallet on the receiving end of this transaction accept deposit on the Litecoin network. Moreover, on this page, you can also see the fee that you are charged for the withdrawal transaction. For LTC, Bitstamps currently charge 0.001 LTC at a price of roughly 60 USD per LTC, that is about 6 cents. In this example, we want to transfer our funds to another centralized exchange. The trading fees among different exchanges vary a lot and especially for traders. This can have a huge effect on their trading performance, sometimes many thousand dollars per month. Unfortunately, with all the different tiers and the requirements for those tiers, it is very complex to compare how much you will pay at other exchanges for your trade. We have used Dr. Fee here to identify how much fee saving potential we have, as they automatically analyze how much we would have paid at different exchanges based on our actual trades. In this example, let's transfer the funds to Binance. This could, however, be different for everyone based on their trading activity, the products they are trading, and etc. So, as a next step, we have to check at the exchange we want to receive the funds. Whether a deposit of LTC on the Litecoin network is available at Binance. I'm now locking the Binance account. Let's go to Wallet, Fiat, and Spot. And when here, find LTC. Here is our LTC, and we want to receive the LTC here, hence we click on Deposit. We have to select the network for the transfer, so we click on the network selection and we find LTC. We have seen at Bitstamp that the fees for transferring on the LTC on the Litecoin networks are cheap, and here we see that the deposit based on Litecoin network are available. This is very important. You have to select the correct chain both at the wallet you are sending the funds from as well as the wallet you are receiving the funds at. If not, your transfer might be lost. Okay. Given that both Bitstamps and Binance support Litecoin and the fee are low for transferring LTC, let's select this one. Having LTC selected here at Binance, you will see the address you can send the LTC to. Let's click here to copy. We go back to our Bitstamp account and copy the address. 
You can label the transfer for your future reference. And next, we have to type in the month of LTC we would like to send. For trial purpose, let's do 0.002 LTC. Make sure you have really copied the correct address and do not rush. Rather, double check again. We click on Authenticate and Withdraw, and we're pretty much done. We perform the authentication and wait for our transfer to arrive at Binance. You may need to confirm the withdrawal request through an email sent to you by Bitstamp. We send 0.002 LTC to Binance. Adding the 0.001 LTC fee, we will charge 0.003 LTC and we shall receive 0.002 LTC later at Binance. Note that the transfer might take a little time. So I will skip this few minutes here and just go to Binance account. Yes, as we can see, the LTC has arrived. The process is pretty straightforward and quick. Given that some exchanges charge a multiple of others at our given tier level, switching exchange and benefiting from much lower fees might be really worthwhile. Especially if it can save hundreds of thousands of dollars per month depending on your trading activity and volume. The process will be the same for transferring our LTC from Bitstamp to any other exchange or another wallet. You just have to find the correct address you copy in at Bitstamp, whether it is from FTX, Coolcoin, or the wallet of your choice. Pay attention that you have selected the same network and have chosen the same coin both for sending and receiving ends of the transaction. If you liked the video and think it was helpful, please leave us a like on the video. We develop plenty of helpful videos for traders, especially also for analyzing your own trading behavior and identifying improvement potentials. To stay up to date, just subscribe our channel and turn on the notification bell in order to be notified once we upload new videos. Thank you.